So one of the key benefits for the wealth management industry, and frankly the whole investment management industry in the last um, couple of decades, has been very low interest rates and very low, well, basically no alternatives across fixed income investments because lots of the yields have been quite close to zero. That environment has changed. Now you can get a 5 percentage return on, on cash and short-term government bonds. How should that influence our thinking? The risk occurs typically when cash rates go from zero to five percent that tends to be the most treacherous part which is where we are now so which is where we are so some of the damage that higher cash rates have on equities and bonds i think you've already seen probably the bulk of that is already done but forward looking the way i think about alternatives or any other asset class is there is an opportunity cost relative to the risk-free asset which is cash mm -hmm. so if you can get five percent cash then everything else has to give you much higher returns for it to be uh, reasonable if you take the fixed interest or the, asset, the fixed income example at the moment, you get in the UK, you get sub 5%, around 4% yield on medium dated government bonds, whereas cash rates are north of 5%. So clearly you have to be paid to take that risk. It doesn't really make a huge amount of sense. I think in the UK there's a, a slight uh, aberration here where um, it actually makes a lot of sense for private clients to own short dated government bonds because of tax advantages, which uh, I'm sure you've discussed with some of your clients, but. The idea being if you buy a low yielding, low coupon government bond issued three or four years ago, maturing relatively, uh, let's say the next year or two, you can get a pre-tax return of eight, nine, almost 10% with no risk. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the good news is inflation rates have adjusted, they've become higher, interest rates have become higher, um, but the good news is, as we want to talk about, investment opportunities still out. Investment opportunities are definitely still around, but also, Depending on what you actually invest in, the cash rate that has gone up also goes into the fund. So if you take the income fund, it's a derivative heavy fund that uses about 70-80% sitting in cash anyway. So that cash rate going up to 5% is already being monetized within the portfolio. So our returns are always trying to be cash plus mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to hitting an absolute return. So whereas five years ago we may be happy with 5%, now we're looking more like 8% to be competitive but that cash rate should really feed into the portfolio. Thank you.